It was one year ago today that Hamas launched an attack on Israel, killing more than 1,200 Israelis and taking 251 people hostage. Since then, more than 40,000 Palestinians have been killed in the Israel-Hamas war. That is according to the Gaza Ministry of Health. And it's believed that dozens of hostages are still in captivity, including four Americans. NBC's Alice Barr reports. Across Israel today, ceremonies mark one year of anguish, of hostages separated from their families. We're missing so much. Of Palestinians living through unbearable conditions, more than 40,000 dead, according to the Gaza Health Ministry, and 365 days after Hamas militants attacked inside Israel, killing 1,200 and kidnapping more than 200, the suffering is only growing. Israel now battling Hezbollah militants in Lebanon and vowing retaliation against Iranian missile strikes. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu not backing down. Israel Israel has both the duty and the right to defend itself. That's despite growing criticism, including from the U.S., about the devastating toll on civilians and the fear of an all-out regional war. Vice President Kamala Harris on CBS 60 Minutes backing Israel's right to defend itself while stressing the need for a ceasefire. The need for humanitarian aid, the need for this war to end, the need for a deal to be done which would release the hostages. But those negotiations are deadlocked, raising questions about the U.S.'s ability to influence Israeli policy. President Biden sharpening his rhetoric toward Prime Minister Netanyahu. No administration has helped Israel more than I have. None. 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 And I think uh, Bibi should remember that. Hostage families pleading for a breakthrough. I will not allow myself to lose my hope, because if I do, who will scream for Keith? The cries of millions growing more desperate with no end in sight. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.